Welcome to today's Big Brother 17 updates and spoilers. Our house guest of the day is Scott Stevens. I hope you're having an awesome day and thank you so much for watching. Look who's back. I don't know how much of I can handle without cracking up, but we'll see. All right, so yesterday, Vanessa, Clay, and Shelly were trying to figure out what the heck they're going to do this week because obviously Clay is going to be pulling himself off the block and somebody's going to have to go up in his place. So originally... The plan was to backdoor Austin this week, but now they're all agreeing they're going to give Austin another chance. They want to roll with their original crew, just keep that going, boo, I say get rid of Austin. So now they're like, who's going to go this week instead? Is it going to be Becky? Is it going to be Jackie? Is it going to be Jason? All right, so Vanessa is talking about how their alliance was manipulated by the other side last week to make them get rid of Audrey, and she's not going to let them hap let that happen again. What? Even Shelly and Clay were just like, um, we feel so much better now without Audrey here. Like, we're so much less stressed, and we're just, we're relaxed, and it's great, and it's awesome, and it was the best decision ever. So they were just like, what are you talking about? So then... Jackie keeps walking in and out during this discussion, and um, she's been doing that a lot all week, and they're getting super annoyed about it, especially Vanessa. She's just like, why does she keep going in here? Blah. So then Vanessa is still acting uh, like she's going to be nominating Austin when she's talking to Jackie and that whole group, Jason and Megan James. So they're feeling pretty good right now. They think that Austin is going this week. They feel like they don't have a care in the world. They're um, excited and happy about the Dark Moon Alliance. They think they're just going to ride that out. They're right in jury. They're going to ride it out until the final eight. So they're feeling like really comfortable. Little do they know, there's a storm of brewing. So, Clay and Johnny Mac were talking in the HOH room, and Clay is starting to reveal a little bit of the new plan to Johnny Mac. Um, he's not giving him the full thing, but he's trying to, you know, kind of um, feed him a little bit of information, see how he's going to react, get him used to the idea of Austin not going this week. So, he's telling Johnny Mac, Becky's going to be safe this week, so don't worry. Whoever goes up on the block during the POV ceremony is the one who's going home, so, like, just relax. So then... Excuse me. He was saying, it may not be Austin going home this week. Vanessa is trying to see if she can catch somebody else in a lie. That sounds so shady. And if she does, uh, then they'll be going up on the block and leaving. So then um, Clay is trying to tell Johnny Mac how this is such an awesome move for the whole group because Austin is going to owe them big time if he stays. Uh, and supposedly, Austin controls both of the twins' votes. Uh, okay, first of all, I don't see Austin controlling Julia's vote. Second, um, why would Johnny Mac be excited about Austin staying? Because, like, Austin is not going to do favors for Johnny Mac. Like, I just don't see how that's going to work. Uh, I see Austin being loyal to Vanessa. I don't see him being loyal to Johnny Mac. So, I don't think, um, it's a great move for him. But anyway, Johnny Mac was then talking to Liz, and the mystery of tooth number nine was finally solved. Um, Liz was talking about how Julia's tooth got messed up when they were kids, and everything is just like out in the open now, I guess. I mean, people have been talking about Julia and Liz separately, so like, Cat's out of the bag for sure now. Everybody knows that Julia is going to be coming into the game. And they don't seem too worried about it. If I were in that house, I'd be like, oh, we got to get them out. What's going on here? Like, Sarah, ugh. I think they're really underestimating what it's going to be like to have two twins in the house together. Like, that is an unbreakable bond. Harry Potter, the arms together. <laughs> Seriously. So then, um... Yeah, and I'm excited, though, for the Johnny Mac and Julia friendship that I feel like is going to blossom when she enters the house officially. I think there's going to be a lot of talk about teeth, and it's just going to be great. So then, last night, the feeds were down for two hours for the Outback Steakhouse dinner. This was the reward for the winners of the Battle of the Block competition. So then, even after those two hours, the party was still raging on in the backyard um, when the feeds came back. 
So James, Liz, and Vanessa got to invite three other people to join them. So they picked Becky, Clay, and Austin. And uh, they all strolled back in just before 9 p.m. feeling really full. I guess they rolled back in. They, like, ate a lot, apparently. Um, so, yeah. Anyway, after the Outback dinner, Austin and Vanessa go up to the HOH room to exchange their new plans with each other. So Austin is like, here's what I'm thinking. You put up either Jackie or Jason in Clay's place, and then whichever one you don't put up, put up, put up, put up, I'm going to call out in front of everyone, and then I'm going to be the target next week if they win the HOH. So you'll be totally fine with them. They're going to come after me instead. So Vanessa's like, yeah, that's pretty cool. Here's my plan. So then she's describing her ridiculous plan, which I went into detail about in yesterday's spoiler, if you want to check that out. But basically, she wants to bluff and act like she has all this information about the votes for Jeff and also the last laugh twist. And then she wants to see if she can catch Jason, Becky, or even Jackie in a lie about that. Um, but she's really going for Jason. She definitely wants to catch Jason. Jason, but he didn't lie. So then Vanessa is like, yeah, Austin, I'm glad you're back in the game. This is awesome. You got your head out of your ass. So then Austin is like, yeah, I'm so sick of all this harmony bullshit. Barney and friends, I love you. You love me. Really? You're the one who's like friggin' obsessing over Liz. Get over yourself. So then Becky and Vanessa were chatting up in the HOH room. Here we go. It's the beginning of Vanessa's crazy plan. So, Vanessa's just like, who do you think voted for Jeff? What's, what's that all about? So Becky was like, well, obviously, Jackie and Johnny Mac, like, they admitted to it. And then Becky's like, I think Liz was also one of the votes, which is true. So Becky was like, yeah, um, Liz was really close to Jeff, so it would make sense if she voted for him to stay. Liz is still not cop to this. I don't think Vanessa believes it. Um, but then Vanessa's asking her, who do you think had the last laugh power? And Becky's like, I'm um, pretty sure that they had it. So <laughs> Vanessa can't really, like, argue with those answers. She's just like, okay, it doesn't really make sense to me, but okay. So she tells Becky, you're not going home. You're good this week, so just relax. All right, so then Meg and Vanessa were talking to James, and they were telling him, like, oh, it's so exciting that Julia's going to be coming into the house. And um, James is just like, wait what? So, like, obviously, James knew about the twins, sort of, um, but it, had, it hadn't been confirmed to him yet, so he was, like, kind of shocked about it, and he was just like, what, what, what's going on? So then James starts making, like, typical James comments, and he was talking to Austin, and he was just like, yeah, so are you going to sleep with both of the twins in the bed? Do you think they're into, like, the incest stuff? <sighs> All right, so this goes around the house, Liz hears about it. She is disgusted, as are most people. But I mean, like, most of them are just like, oh, that's just James being James. But Liz was just like, that is so disgusting. And Austin was really not happy about it, of course. Don't talk about his lady like that. So then, um, yeah, it was just causing some uh, some bad vibes for James. I don't know. He better watch out. So then Vanessa was starting to have doubts again last night about her plans. So she was talking to Shelly and Clay and she was like, maybe we should just get rid of Austin this week because she doesn't want to draw a line in the sand at this point in the game. It's got to be done eventually. So um, Shelly and Clay are like, no, no, we got to keep Austin this week. We got to keep him. He's a number for us. We're forgiving him. He's just an idiot who's in love, supposedly. So Becky comes into the room, and they want to work with Becky, or at least they want her vote in the future. So they're trying to pull her in. They're telling her, like, yeah, let's set something up. Like, who do you want to bring into this, Jackie or Johnny Mac? Becky says Johnny Mac. Um, she says she doesn't really talk game with Jackie. It's just like a friendship on a personal level. So then they're like, all right, Becky, that's cool. So eventually they tell her, yeah, it's not going to be Austin going up on the block. They tell her that Jason is the new target. And she's just like, yeah, all right, that sounds good to me. I mean, obviously she's going to say that. She doesn't want it to be her. So, like, anyone other than her she's going to be cool with. Um, so they tell her, like, don't tell anybody. Uh, we're going to be telling Johnny Mac, but don't tell any of Jason and his allies because we want it to be a secret. 
Alright, so then Vanessa's like, you guys better freaking protect me next week if any of the people from the other side win HOH because I'm doing this for you guys. So then, this is totally non-game related, but it was hilarious. Shelly and Clay had a bit of a tiff last night. They were talking in the bathroom. Uh, Clay was like sitting on one of those like benchy areas. Shelly was in front of one of the mirrors taking off her makeup and getting ready for bed. So Clay is like talking to her from across the bathroom and he's like, yeah, come over here when you get a chance. I gotta tell you something. And Shelly's just like, well, why don't you come over here? And he doesn't. And then he's like, why you got an attitude with me, mama? And she's just like, what the F are you talking about, Clay? And she starts freaking out and he's like, what's the big deal? And she's like, I look like effing shit right now and I don't want to be right in front of the camera and now this is going to be all over the feeds and you just don't get it so then Shelly like storms out it's hilarious and ridiculous and it was awesome all right so this morning <laughs> Jackie and Vanessa were talking everybody's getting ready for the power veto ceremony Jackie's trying to figure out like last minute what's going on here because like Vanessa's acting kind of weird so Vanessa starts asking her about the phone booth twist and she's like who do you think got it and Jackie's like I know for a fact that it was day and Vanessa's like, do you know that for a fact? Like, how do you know? And Jackie's like, well, Jason told me. And Vanessa's like, well, that's not for a fact then. So <laughs> Vanessa's just like, this doesn't make sense. Like, why would Day pick those three people to nullify their votes? So Jackie's just like, I'm telling you, I'm pretty sure it was Day. So then they start talking about um, who they can trust within the Dark Moon Alliance. And Vanessa's just like, yeah, um, I don't know, there's like somebody in this group, I'm not going to say who it is, but there's someone in this group that I feel like I can't really trust, and she said there's no long-term loyalty within that group, and Jackie's just like, what are you talking about? Like, we just formed this alliance, how are we already having issues here? So Vanessa's just like, um, just because people are paranoid and flip-flopping and blah, blah, blah. Yeah, you are! So then Vanessa says she's going to do what she has to do this week, and then she's going to address it with that person after the power veto ceremony. So Jackie's like, this is why we can't have nice things. And I'm like, bingo. So Vanessa then brings up this other thing. She's realizing that during the Battle of the Block competition, apparently James, like, corrected the spelling of Christine... It was missing an eye, uh, and if he did not do that, him and Liz would not have won the Battle of the Block competition, so Vanessa's like, why was he doing that? He was supposed to be throwing it. He blew it. Blah, blah, blah. So, this is, like, spreading around the house. James is just like, whoa, why am I under fire right now? Like, I definitely tried to throw that. What's going on? So, like, it's just kind of weird, because, like, James is safe this week. He's not, he can't be put up, so I don't know what's going on there. Um, I don't know if Vanessa is just trying to, like, cast doubt on that group in general and then go after somebody within that group, but it was really weird. So then they had the power veto ceremony, and Clay saved himself, of course, and then Vanessa nominated my sweet baby Jason in his place, and it was a freaking blind side for Jason. Jason didn't know about it. James, Meg, and Jackie didn't know about it. Everybody else knew about it, and it's so messed up. So I cannot handle this <laughs> right now. I'm very upset. Like, I'm actually really, really upset about it. Because it's not looking good for Jason. Jason versus Becky? Really? So, um, it's upsetting. And I could just talk about it all night, but I won't because I'll just get more and more upset. <laughs> so let me know what you guys think in the comments. Maybe there will be some sort of miracle and Jason will be able to save himself. We'll see. But uh, let me know what you think. And until tomorrow, much love. Edit.